Hello everyone, this is Chris, and in 1.17 they're adding in these brand new types of massive mountains. And while I think in their current state right now, they are really great, like one of the greatest biomes Minecraft has possibly ever seen, I think there are still a uh, still some slight slight little rooms for improvement. So say I'm going to be uh to be explaining some of those slight improvements, some of the other things which we could do to other types of mountainous biomes and other things like that but before we begin i think it's a uh, it's noteworthy to say that this is the very first version we have seen of the mountains and there's almost guaranteed to be some types of changes and additions to these types of mountains in the future so um take what i'm about to say with a slight grain of salt as we go throughout this video so i think one of the reasons so many people are so in love with these brand new types of mountains has to do with the scale of them these mountains go up much, much higher than what we have ever seen possible, at least for a Bedrock Edition, reaching up all the way up to the possibility of reaching up to Y256, and in certain cases, even beyond that. Which is why it was all the more disappointing to find out that inside the betas, one of my favorite biomes inside the game, the Shattered Savannah Plateau biome, is still capped at its usual y128 and this is just one example of it but if we fly ourselves all the way up here we could see that yeah they are they're still pretty much capped all the way up to uh to only y128 where in um in java edition at least these can go all the way up to the uh to the build height or to the old build height at 256 and yeah to see one type of a uh, huge mountainous biome actually making the most of that all that build height all the way up to a uh, to 256 and to see my favorite biome inside the game still just sitting at its current state just at the uh the white 128 is um it's kind of kind of sad because say with the uh, the brand new mountains they are i guess mimicking reality they are supposed to to uh to represent like actual mountains you would probably find inside of a uh, real life for the Shattered Savannah Plateau, at least on um, Java Edition, they're supposed to mimic the um, the amplified terrain, where it's just absolutely crazy going up like super high in the sky. And yeah, to see to see a biome like this just still still kind of sad is a uh, pretty disappointing performance, especially on mobile devices, might be somewhat of an issue with this. Well, I'm playing on a Samsung Galaxy A51, and apart from when the chunks load in, I am not getting any serious FPS uh, drops, even when I'm all the way up at Y215. So, hopefully in future betas, the uh, the Shattered Savannah will also get the, um, the same effect as what these huge mountains have gotten. And speaking of these huge mountains, I think everyone can agree that these are way too hard to find, like, especially in, like, Bedrock Edition, where there is no spectator, there is no slash locate, there is no anything like that, so what what simple way to, um, to fix this is by, first off, adding in maybe just more of these mountains around the place, maybe just having them be maybe twice as common, but then again, some people like having the, um, having the the rarity of these types of biomes where you don't necessarily find them all the time but when you do find them it's just like oh okay here we are right here so maybe another way on just really simply fixing this one issue is just adding in the the slash locate command which um is kind of like the slash locate structure command where you know it just takes you to the um to the closest thing that's in that locate command so adding in something like that would definitely make these these much easier to find inside the game. But so far I've really put on the focus of like what can make it easier to find and other types of mountain biomes. Let's actually put the focus onto these mountain biomes right now to say that yeah these are being added inside of caves and cliffs and one thing you would probably expect to see inside of these new mountains is actually some caves. But if we dig ourselves all the way down here we can see that we are not finding a single a single cave anywhere around here. And alongside that, the ore distribution inside these mountains is meant to change, and this graph which we see on screen right now is the most update we have so far, and you can see that emeralds are supposed to be basically everywhere inside this, um, inside this biome, along with some iron, some coal every now and then. But, if we head back into here and we actually, um, say, 
destroy all the stone using the slash fill command, then we could see that, uh, things might not look exactly as it seems, and it might not look like anything because it is completely pitch black right here. But now that we can see, we could see that, oh, seems to be a lot more coal generating in here than there is emerald, even though in that chart, it seems as though emerald should be the, uh, the main, the main ore inside this one biome. And you might just have the argument to say that maybe I had an unlucky chunk or something. Well, if we, if we do that again for maybe a few other chunks and let it load in, we can see that, yeah, it is, it is still, still the same thing happening. We are still only seeing a whole bunch of massive, um, coal veins and a few types of emerald veins, but nothing, nothing too serious. Now we could make the argument to say that maybe, maybe they got updated in between and that chart is a little bit outdated or we could also make the argument that um that maybe this is a bug and maybe just it, it just happened to spawn backwards for some reason but either way what we see in game is not necessarily what we see in that chart that was given and also speaking of um speaking of mining distributions one thing i noticed inside these caves that was um very strange and very different is the fact that up in these mountains, the only thing that generates are the ores, is stone, and is dirt. All the other types of, um, things generate well below it. I think at about maybe Y70 or Y60, maybe around, maybe around Y80 or something if you're really lucky. But yeah, the, uh, the granite, the andesite, the diorite, they do not generate all the way up in these, in these huge, um, these huge mountains yet. Now, you could make the argument and say that maybe that was intentional. Maybe you just want to find them in one particular spot. But I don't know. I would have liked to see maybe just the rare chance of seeing at least a couple small patches going up all the way there. But as of right now, they only generate below Y80 as it seems. But like I said, this is the very first introduction we've seen of these brand new types of mountains. And apart from the Shattered Savannah Plateau thing, most of the problems I have with this biome is actually very small and very, you know, very niche. Because this biome has turned out to be, pro again, one of the greatest biomes Bedrock Edition and Minecraft has seen in in such a long time. And I'm, I'm so excited to see, like, if they have anything else with this biome, if they're going to change anything else with it, and what else are they going to do with it. But, yeah, for now, that's pretty much all I have for you. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.